Hey, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. This isn't part of my normal sort of hour, one an hour through the day videos that I try to do through the week. This is a little exceptional one uh, I'm throwing in as a, as a bonus. Uh, this came from one of you, good viewers, thank you very much. Uh, Mick, you know who you are, tip hat. Nice little story, it goes to show um, exactly the sort of people you're dealing with and why you've got to watch them like hawks. Uh, and it is, it's is—it's a short piece, it won't take long, it'll be in and out in a few minutes. But I just think it's worth you knowing because, hey, these are who you're dealing with. Um, and it's a, it's a councillor who is going to court uh, because of just general low-level criminality. You know, just, you know, they're just a bit scummy, really. So we'll take a quick look at it. Um, but like I say, it's not a deep story, it's not a long story, but it's just a flash in and out. Uh, but I just think, yeah, you got to know. So as you can see, this comes from the Russia Journal, not one of my usual sort of uh, haunts. But um, it's, as I say, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, with the good viewers like yourselves, if you do come across a little story like this, I will be more than happy to just throw up a quick flash video just to make people aware. Because it's obviously important to Mick, it's something he wanted. And you know, it's, it's no bother to me to do this. So uh, yeah, this is the sort of thing we can do. Uh, but Russia councillor Maxine Smith, who's she? Well, she used to be SNP. Uh, she's no longer. She's had to resign from the SNP. Uh, but she's going to court. She faces a, a full court trial over parking and using a fake disabled blue badge charge. This is a woman who is supposed to be representing the people. And yet she's sitting there and all snide and look. Oh, look at me. I can park where I like because I'm special with my blue badge. Blue badges are a privilege and they have to be... Um, given to people who absolutely need them not just to lazy bitch councillors like maxine smith because she can't heave her i'm presumably fat ass i haven't got a picture of her see if i can find a picture of her but uh out of a car on 10 yards into the nearest greg's or whatever it is but it goes to show this is exactly that sort of low level scumminess that you come to associate predominantly with the smp but really it's it's not exclusive. It's all kind of politicians are in for themselves, really. Uh, this is why I loathe politicians. They sit there holier than thou and do things like this. Anyway, a Highland councillor is to stand trial next year, accused of faking disabled parking blue badges so drivers of tour buses owned by her could use the restricted spaces. So she's in it to get as much money out of the system as possible. Maxine Smith, 64, of uh, Calritchie Cottages, Invergordon, who represents the Cromarty Ward uh, on the Highland Council, was a former SNP councillor. Well, <laughs> is anybody surprised? Uh, she resigned from the party group in 2020 and is now a member of the Highland Alliance. According to Companies House, she's also the director of Thistle Excursions which offers bus tours around the Highlands to cruise ship passengers disembarking at the port of Invergordon. Smith did not appear uh, in the Inverness Sheriff's Court, but was represented by solicitor Willie Young. Well, there we go. Uh, he, uh, he tended a plea of not guilty on her behalf, and the Sheriff Sarah Matheson, uh, I'm presuming no relation to Michael, uh, fixed a trial date for May the 20th. It's a long way ahead, isn't it? Nearly six months away, just for a charge like this. What are they waiting for? Psychiatric reports? Or do they need to make special provision for the fat ass to wobble through the court doors? Uh, anyway, an intermediate diet. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> she needs one. An intermediate diet to establish both prosecution and defence readiness for trial was also set for April the 23rd. I know that diet and this means doesn't mean eating. I know what it is. And it's the old thing about uh, the diet of worms, uh, which has got nothing to do with a plate full of crawling things. Um, it's, in this case, it's diet, I suppose you'd say. Anyway, the the charge against the council uh, councillor states that on April the 3rd, 2019 and November the 20th, 2022 at Outram Street, Invergordon, she uttered as genuine to employees of the Highland Council a blue badge which had been altered without the authority of the local uh, of the local authority. I love this terminology, the legalese. She uttered as genuine. 
That is just fantastic, isn't it? Told, tell, told, 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 told tales, lied through her teeth because she's a lying cow. Aren't they all? It's the SNP after all. I know she, well, she was then, yes. Ah, that'll be it then. That's why she's resigned, 2019. She resigned shortly afterwards because lies and creeps and illegality. Uh, it also alleges that a previous badge had been photocopied and laminated and that the badges were left on display without her being present, allowing the drivers of tour buses owned by her to obtain use of restricted parking. Send it to jail. It won't come to that, of course. It will be uh, it'll be a couple of hundred pound fine. It'll be a slap on the wrist. It won't be much. But it does go to highlight the absolute BS that these people come up with. They're snidered. In order to save a few hundred pounds on parking charges that, as counsellor, she undoubtedly brought in. So she expects everyone else to pay these, but not her, because she's special. Ah, oh, bless. Bless her special little cotton socks, thinking that she's above the law. But then don't they always? These people are two-faced stains, aren't they? Honestly, this I've picked things up from the back end of my dog that have got more sort of charisma and honesty than these people. And they keep getting voted in. Let's have her voted out. The next elections, everyone needs to know exactly the sort of person she is. Person she is, and people in Russia, please do the decent thing and vote these sneaky, snide, sleek it shitbags out. Vote, vote them to smithereens. Get rid of them all because they're all the same. This is what, and this, and this children is another example of why I loathe politicians, two-faced, hypocritical bastards, one and all. Anyway, I'm, I'm not going to get angry. Even though they drive it to you, I'm not going to get angry. But I am going to round off. We'll come up and we'll finish this video. Yeah, as I say, it's not normally the sort of thing I would do. But I just thought, you know what? Somebody's gone to the trouble of bringing this story to my attention. I didn't get deserved to be pushed forward for your, for your enjoyment. But it, it just highlights what I've always said about politicians. Can't trust one of them. Honestly, you're not one of them. You know, you get the odd one. You get the odd politician. One in a thousand or so that's on the side of angels. But most of them are just turds in suits, aren't they? Anyway, I shall finish there. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope this has been entertaining. As I say, it's nice to hear. So if you have a story and you want it highlighted, throw me the link. Throw me the link. I'll, I'll throw one up. Give you a call out. Thanks, Mick. Oh, um, nice to do. So, uh, yeah, there. So uh, do Mick the greatest pleasure. Do press like on this. Go show a bit of, a bit of uh, acknowledgement. Not for me, but for, for the, the person who supplied this. So hit the like on the button on the, on the video. Till next time, though. Stay safe. Stay well. Keep an eye out. There's loads of stories today. Start of a week. There's an absolute plethora of them. And I'll try and work through as many as I can. But I will speak to you later. Goodbye. <laughs>